I think that the biggest challenge uh, for a large scale, scale restoration effort in Brazil is by far the access to uh, financial support for small holders and uh, large uh, owners as well. Uh, the fact that uh, we don't have a, a, an economic uh, way of valuing uh, the ecosystem service provided by a standing forest or a restore forest, this I think contribute to the, to, to the, to the lack of uh, financial resource because uh, uh, the banking system that usually fund this type of, uh, of, uh, of effort they, they, they demand uh, a, 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 that the owners prove the viability, the economic viability of, the, uh, of any restoration. So, and, and, and this is almost in, impossible because there is no way to, to value this, at least until now. Uh, in terms of uh, the contribution of uh, of uh, the Restore Plus to, to address these challenges. I think uh, one way to contribute, and we're already uh, working on, on this, is to generate a series of uh, future sen uh, restoration scenarios, uh, showing ways to, for example, through restoration to maximize uh, connectivity among uh, forest fragments, uh, maximizing, and this is something we are going to start uh, in, in the near future, maximizing um, the biodiversity of, of, uh, of uh, certain areas through restoration, for example, and uh, oh, biodiversity uh, recovers through restoration. Or, um, maximization of ecosystem services in general, like uh, the availability of water resources and so on. And this is, this is something we would really like to, to provide the, to the stakeholders in, in Brazil that deal with the problem of large-scale uh, restoration. And I think this would be one of the best uh, uh, and the most uh, relevant contributions uh, of uh, our project, Restore Plus project, to the to the to the Brazilian society